You ever go to Michigan just to meet up with somebody? That's what I did. Silver Steeler here. Talking boy on here. And we met up in Michigan. We're doing a collaboration on a video to show you a few pieces that we got at a coin show. And uh, if you get one out first, go ahead. That's a nice A mark. Look at that. Some good old bullion for talking bullion. We got ourselves a 1987 in great shape. Here's the 1987 on the back side. Or is it the front side? Or is it the obverse? Or is it the reverse? Mrs. TV, what is it? You're right, TB. That's what it is. <laughs> All right. They like it. Hey, you know what? I think I got one too, only oh. mine's a 1983. 83. A mark. Great minds think alike. <laughs> Not as good condition as yours, but. Uh, Toning's nice and it means it's silver. Yep. Silver Steeler. So there's those. Want me to go again? Sure, what you got? More bullion. What is this? Just a replica 1933 Eagle. Is that what that is? Indian. Indian, I'm in. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Pretty cold out here, so I can't talk. Almost looks a little bit like the Peace Dollar version, you know? What else you got? You got something for us, TV? Yeah, I've got, uh, I want something more maybe for the Christmas gaw, which we don't know when this will post. Maybe the gaw will be over, but it's got some more bullion. Let me take one out of there. Got some 10th ounces, a little yeah, bit nice. different. Those are nice. Let's take a quick look at one. We've got ourselves an AG on one side. And we got ourselves a one tenth on the other side. What do you think, winning? Pretty. What is this? Like a. Oh, my brain's frozen. <laughs> it's like a Mexican one. Watch it. This is face reveal material. Okay. <laughs> I'm standing behind. Well, winning. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it's a generic bullion. So, looks a little bit like. Yeah, it looks a little bit like a Libertad. It's 1982, that much I know. 1982. I just picked it up because they were what, like 18 bucks a piece over there? Yeah, they were a pretty good price. Not bad. Not bad. Man, it is cold out here. <laughs> Thanks Welcome for coming to, to Michigan. Michigan. Yeah, right? It's out here by the Grand It's River. pure Michigan. It's pure cold <laughs> Michigan. Purely cold. <laughs> and here's something else we picked up, I picked up. Mrs. TV and myself picked up a fractional 1985 Inglehard. You can see it's a quarter of an ounce. These things come with a nice premium. I've talked about wanting to pick up the Inglehards. And got this. They had a tenth of an ounce there as well, but I already have one of those. And here's the back side. Pretty cool, huh? These are kind of hard to find. Again, a quarter ounce. Let's look at the front one more time. I never even knew they made those kind. Yep, just 1985 was the only year, Silver Steeler, that they did the fractional Inglehards. Did you do a video on that one time? Uh, I don't no, think so. Stream. I've been wanting to, but I just oh, was a stream, haven't. maybe? That we yeah, never we talked about it, yeah. And this is what, just another replica? That thing is mirrored. Which is why I'm holding it like that. No face reveals. Because <laughs> we, got, we got editing capabilities. Uh, another cool. nice, another nice eighteen dollar round there. Pretty cool there. Dollar sign, dollar sign. Yep. <laughs> All right. So I here's, like that. so here's something else we picked up. These are, everybody knows about the Sunshine Mint rounds, but these are two half ounces. There, eh, they don't look very good. Let me, let me open it up here with frozen fingers. <laughs> so these two half ounces came together. Got them out of a bin with bouncers. So yeah, these are always nice to have. Kind of hard. I don't. We don't see these fractional sunshine mint rounds very often. No. Looks like they have the uh, security code in the middle of them. That's cool. Yeah. So pretty cool. Very nice. Very nice. So picked up a couple of those. Ah, if I could see through the tears of the coldness. <laughs> <laughs> 
And I like, you know, I try to get as many different type of generic rounds that I can. As long as it's a different design and I don't have it, then I'll grab it. And Sounds I've been good. found a lot with a lot of different eagles on it at that mm -hmm. coin show today. I really like that one, flying off into the sun. That one's pretty cool. Eh, the back leaves a little bit something to be desired. Just plain Jane, but I got it for that reason. Yeah. Not the other reason. Uh, year? Does it have a year on it? Uh, nope, I think it's just a... It says Panama City on the back of it. Bullion round. Bullion round. Just another bullion round. All right. Well, so, Steeler, I think you better show us another one because right. you've got a, a pretty big pile over there. Is this is a Mexican Olympic one, and I don't know what the amount of silver in it. It's at least 80%. The guy thought it was 80 or 90%. And it says $26 on there, but everything in his bin was half off. So I picked it up for 13 bucks. I mean... If it's 90% silver, it's worth every bit of 13 bucks. Sure, yeah. And I really like those designs on the back right there. To, what is that, an eagle or a raven or whatever? Ripping up something. Oh, yeah, that's the uh, that's like the back of a Libertad, isn't it? Yeah. The same symbol? A little bit, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is. I like it. So, I don't have a lot of foreign stuff. This is a Venezuelan coin. Which I know nothing about. So, here's all the info on that coin. There you go. You got it. <laughs> to be continued. So, yeah. Again, I did not pay 28 bucks for that coin. Everything in that bin was half off, so I paid $14 for this. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. All right. So, you want me to show something off? Yeah. All right. Let's go for this guy. Or gal. It's a gal. Okay. It's a gal. 1853, the A&R stands for, oh, this one actually says arrows and rays on it. So we've been trying to get some 1853 coins. The half dollar here usually goes for quite a bit. We saw one in better condition for $600. We weren't going to spend that, but really cool, the 1853. We're going to do a series on them, talk about them. And uh, this, there's some great uh, history in 1853 so we figured we'd pick that up and uh pretty cool not in the greatest condition but enough to pick up some history from the old u.s coins stone mountain is that what it is yeah. stone, stone mountain. mountain nice and winning image photography managed to talk this guy down to what was it 40 bucks yeah 40 bucks for this had 110 dollars on it yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we didn't buy it for 110. <laughs> yeah, winning's coming to the next coin show with us, Mrs. TV. Mm -hmm. Right, she's, yeah. she's going to teach us how to negotiate, negotiate. even better. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> she's about ready to walk away, and she said, $40 and it's ours. If not, we're leaving. And he accepted. So <laughs> That's how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. Get those legs That one will probably go in my typeset. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that would be That's good. a good typeset one. And uh, let's see. More foreign. This is Russian. Russian coin. My very first Russian type coin. I don't know what the percentage of silver in it is. It is in it? We have to do some research. Yeah. So again, I didn't pay sixteen dollars for it. Everything was half off, so I paid eight dollars for this. And what I really liked about it, I don't know if those are falcons on the back or eagles. He said it was a double-headed eagle. So I thought it was a German coin at first. But he said it was Russian after looking at the front with the alphabet or the lettering that they have on it. It definitely is Russian because I don't understand a single bit of it. <laughs> so I just thought it was cool. Eight bucks. Worth it. You got anything All else? All right. I got, uh, yeah, I bought a few of these. Uh, these are for Christmas presents for some people I know. Ah. We know. And, uh, hey, he knows me. <laughs> <laughs> the 2019 Eagle. I wanted to get the 2019, so we paid $20 a piece for them. I tried to find them a little cheaper, but we wanted to get 2019 for Christmas present because it is 2019. So everybody knows what an Eagle looks like, but these are pretty. Why not, why not look at them again? You picked pretty up a handful lady. of them, didn't you? Yeah, picked up several of them, so, yeah. Nice. Yeah, very nice. nice. Some lucky people. I wish I, I wish I was on my Christmas list. 
you know, every single Standing Liberty quarter I've got is either ate up or not in good condition. And so we decided to pick up this 1929D condition on it's not bad again not twelve dollars i paid six dollars for this thing so worth it in my book so a quarter right now is worth about just in mouth guy it's worth about three bucks so right. i'd say that's a good deal yeah it wasn't bad you know i i just every single slq i got slicked out you know those things Mine just too. notorious for being slicked out Mine too. but uh, i'm down to just my morgans which i know heavily is going to disappoint silver ripples because he absolutely hates Morgan dollars. Huh, that's a lie. Check this one out. Got the 1887. This guy cl claims it's proof like MS63. I don't know. I talked him down to 35. I didn't pay 40 for it. But this will be an upgrade in my Morgans. I have not bought a Morgan dollar in a long time. This is so busy stacking up the bullion and everything lately that what? you're serious you haven't yeah. bought a morgan in a long time it's probably been a good what three days <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no about a half year or more oh. man that that breeze off the river is getting pretty cold i'm telling you that right now oh. if only you know what we went through to bring you these videos <laughs> down by the river yeah down by the river december in michigan where's the van <laughs> So There's anyway, <laughs> I just thought that was a really pretty Morgan, so yeah, I couldn't have passed that one nice. up. Very nice, very nice. And this one, the 1891S, I've got is cleaned in my collection. It's a harder one to get. So I picked up that one for, what was it, 34? I talked them down to 30. Awesome. So it's not a bad one. It just replaces one of my collection. I know for sure that's clean. This is not cleaned. You do realize if winning would have been there, though, she would have talked him down to 20. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where she was. She was trying to score deals somewhere else. And this one is just an 1884S. The 1884S is a hard to get in really good condition. And it was in the half off bin, so I paid 20 bucks for this one. Cool. Not the greatest, but for 20 bucks, you know, you can't beat it. And that's really going to bring mine to a close now tv's been waiting to yeah i got a couple things left i just want to show we don't need to show those everybody knows what those are but the best thing that we bought there we go and Drum roll, please we got this again earlier we talked about the remember the half dollar we showed the 1853 collecting 1853 coins right here we go we picked up an 1853 gold dollar coin we got gold Ooh, in the house we got gold <laughs> this is something that we splurged on this is not a typical talking bullion purchase tv emptied out his pockets and i had to empty out my wallet to <laughs> <laughs> i'm like mrs tv i need some more money please now what'd you pay for that tv uh, paid a hundred and sixty dollars. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad. It was tagged at two hundred dollars, so we got it for a pretty good deal. And again, splurged a little bit just because it was the last eighteen fifty-three coin we needed to have one dollar all the way through the fifty cent piece. And that's one twentieth of an ounce, right? Yeah, he said it was about one twenty. I think point oh five something something something. I don't know. I'll have to go home and check it because I was standing there with my phone wanting to calculate how much spot or melt was on it because you know who I am how I am so pretty close to Grand Rapids Michigan is where we went to for this coin show yeah. it's the first time meet up between uh, Talking Bullion Mrs. Talking Bullion Winning Image Photography and myself this has been planned for a couple months now and it, it finally it happened. happened and we knew we were going to shoot a whole bunch of video we didn't know where we were going to go we didn't know how cold it was going to be we didn't realize that the boardwalk of this place was going to be closed, so they, yeah. you know, we're sitting here at the top of a railing in front. Couldn't really get the best shots, but you know how we like to take these things out to a river, to a falls, or wherever, so. And there's a beautiful I, carousel in that little round building across the river from us. Yeah. It is. This is a nice area down here. Oh, maybe we'll do a little pan as the final video, kind of show you where we're at. Absolutely. Here's, here's our little stack. Oh man, look at my big thumb covering everything. We don't want that. We gotta at least look at the gold. Look at that. Alright, we had a good productive day today. Yeah. Very good. We took home the silver out. and gold. It was a good job. Yeah.
it. Yeah, had fun, had a great time, and uh, got to walk the floor, talk to some vendors, and get some good deals. Great. And we all got to meet up with each other. It's been a really, great day. Really cool. Awesome. Well, Can't been. wait for the Christmas call, which is in a couple days. Uh, this video probably is going to air after that, but it was actually shot before the Christmas call. Yep. So, hope you all had fun at the Christmas call, which hasn't even happened yet for us. <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to wrap this one up. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. We'll see you on the next video. And always remember, let's keep talking bullion.